Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency Tight. My name is Santiago and in today's video we are going to cover a very important airdrop. This is the new Uniswap Layer 2 solution called Unichain and we could have and expect an airdrop for this project. So we are going to cover in this video step by step how you can do and apply for this airdrop. I have important information that I didn't see in any of the other posts on Twitter about this tutorial. So if you really want to apply on all the aspects for this airdrop, you need to see this video until the end because I also will give you one secret that I did to be ahead of many of the other farmers for this airdrop. This airdrop is in a testnet so it's free but I'm going to give you again a secret that will put you ahead of all the different airdrop farmers. Let's go directly to the content. First, first I want to give you some important points about Uniswap. Until October 22, Uniswap fundraised was $888 million. You can confirm this going into crypto rank. And many big companies are behind Uniswap like Polychain, Paradigm and Square. So yeah, this was October 2022. The last Series B of fundraising with 168 million, making it a total of 188 million. But remember, this was in 2022. Many of you were not even doing airdrops or even in crypto at that time. When Uniswap did their airdrop, they allocated 50% on their supply for the first airdrop, resulting in a five-figure airdrop for many. So they are airdrop friendly. And I remember those times when they did the airdrop Many people got rich and that is true story. I remember many cases of people receiving these five figure airdrops and even farming this. So Uniswap historically is one of the biggest airdrop on all crypto. Uniswap Labs, and this is an important point, generated 52.75 million in fee revenue from April 1 into September 30, 2024. So this is not only a crypto project, but this is actually a company that works really, really well with a very big revenue confirmed in 2024. This information, I took it from, from a post here from Binance Square. So you can confirm that information too if you want. 75% of the uni tokens are in circulation. So in terms of how this token is performing, I, I really like Uniswap. The only con is that the fee is a little higher than in other places. But in terms of tokenomics, 75% is already in circulation. And the fully diluted valuation is 7.8 billion. And right now it's at 6 billion. So it's not a big gap between that. For all the information on Unichain, you can go to unichain.org. And the public mainnet is in November. So if you applied for this airdrop and they do an airdrop, which is something that is not confirmed, then we can expect it very, very soon. Because in November it's expected to be launched on mainnet. Again, there are no confirmation that Unichain testnet users are going to be rewarded. This is one of those bets that we are doing for this possible airdrop. Also, we don't know if they plan to launch a new token for that. Remember, this is powered by Optimism Superchain. Or if they are going to reward Uni tokens. Either way, we don't have any confirmation. If you see anything in the internet confirming a token for this Unichain Layer 2, be very skeptic because there's no official confirmation. Again, we are betting as airdrop hunters on the possibility of any kind of reward from the Uniswap company. Now, the testnet is live. This was launched on October 12th, so it was a couple of days ago. And we are going to see how you can use it and get the best position for the airdrop. In terms of followers, 26k followers. Remember, this was launched just a couple of days ago. So it's super, super new. And it's going to be in mainstream very, very soon. Because it's a big deal that Uniswap is making a layer 2. Remember to follow them on all the socials to get any of the NFTs campaigns that may surge over the days. Or anything that could increase your airdrop possibilities. Now that we talk a little bit about Uniswap and Unichain, let's go directly to the step-by-step -step on how you can get this airdrop. The first thing that you need to do is add Unichain Sepolia testnet, go to chainlist.org, write Unichain and add to Metamask the Unichain 
Sepolia testnet, you also can click it and see all the information if you want to use it manually. Here is the direct link to that on chainlist.org. After you do that, step two is you need to get Ethereum Sepolia. So here you have three links where you can get Ethereum Sepolia for free. And the point three is that we are going to do our first bridge. So using the Super Bridge app on Unichain Sepolia, you connect your MetaMask, enter the amount of tokens and bridge to Unichain Network. So this is very easy like any other bridge. Just connect your wallet once you already have the Unichain Sepolia testnet. First, you will need co to connect with Ethereum Sepolia and you are going to put the amount of tokens that you want to bridge and you are going to bridge it. It's like any other testnet bridge. Remember, there are many people doing this bridge, so it could take more than three minutes, which is what appears when you do the testnet bridge. The gas fees for this testnet sometimes are high, so you also could see this insufficient Ethereum for gas you will need to get more Sepolia testnet in order to cover that. Now the point four is do a withdraw. So after you bridge, you also can do the opposite action. So send from Unichain Sepolia again into Sepolia. So you will have both actions, bridging into Unichain and out of Unichain. Now the point five is that you have another bridge to use. This is a testnet bridge. So you can go there to that URL. They have the option to do Unichain to another chains but they are not 100% available yet. So you can move again from Ethereum Sepolia to Unichain using this other application. So just do Sepolia to Unichain. If you want to do, for example, OP Sepolia into Unichain, you will see that there are not available routes. I hope that this is going to be fixed very, very soon and you will be able to move funds from another Sepolia testnet into Unichain. But for now, you just can use it from Sepolia to Unichain. So after you bridge everything and you have a nice amount of testnet tokens on your Unichain, let's move to point six. We go to the Uniswap application. We connect with our MetaMask to the Unichain Sepiola testnet and we click on Uniswap settings to allow testnet mode. So I am connected to Sepolia testnet. So what you need to do is go here to the settings and you need to allow this. The testnet mode, it should be available. So put here, click here to be available and then you will be able to connect here. And then what you want to do here is just select other tokens like USDC and you can trade your Sepolia testnet tokens in Unichain against other tokens on the network. Now, until here, th these are the basic stuff that you can do right now. There are no many applications already deployed on Unichain. So we are going to cover an extra step of things that you can do. And then I will give you my secret strategy on how you outperform any other airdrop farmer on this airdrop. So next, what you can do is deploy a contract in Unichain. To do that, the easiest way, if you are not a developer, is using Third Web. So from the official documentation, you can see here, deploy a smart contract, deploy an RC20 contract, and deploy an RC20 contract using Third Web. So Third Web is going to help you to deploy contracts and do interactions with many blockchains, not only with Unichain, but you can see that Unichain is already integrated, so you can use it and start following the steps of the documentation. Here you have all the requirements that you will need, of course, having Ethereum on the Unichain blockchain testnet that we already did. And then you can follow here the steps to deploy, where to navigate, how to view the contract page, fill the contract details of what you want to do. Here you have all the information. You will set your supply for this token contract. This is a token contract, so you are going to be minting and creating a new token. And then for the token drops, you can claim the conditions, check everything. And if you want, you can transfer those tokens into a specific wallet. So here you have all the step-by-step. -step. The link here is in the point seven on how to deploy a contract token on the Unichain testnet. Now, other thing that you can do after you do that, and I didn't saw in any of other tutorial this, but you should be able is that after step seven, you can copy the contract of your token. When you do that, then you can go to Uniswap and create a new pool with your Ethereum testnet on Uniswap on Unichain with your new created token on your wallet. You will need to provide liquidity, of course, so you can put an amount of tokens, but you should be able to create a new pool with your testnet tokens and Ethereum on your Unichain token. In this case, you will be creating a new liquidity pool. 
So that is a great thing to do. And that will put you already ahead of many people that are not doing that. Other th thing that you can do is that you can deploy contracts on Unichain using Outflow. So go to the link that I provided and you will be here. Remember, you will need to have Ethereum on your Unichain to do this. And here you can deploy in just one click two basic contracts. Use one, first the basic mode and then use the RC20 mode where you put the symbol of the token and the name. After you do that, click on deploy and you will see your deploy smart contract address is here. When you click that, you will be able to see it on the Unichain Explorer. So here you have your interaction on your contract. This is also something that put you ahead of many people. So I recommend you to deploy both contracts too. Now, other two things to do guys is 10, you can contribute it to repositories linked in the Unichain white paper. So here is the link for the white paper. If you have some development knowledge or if you really want to make a difference for this possible airdrop, you need to do some update, fix some bug or do something on those repos. Usually this kind of project reward people that interact with the GitHub repository. So that is also that you can do on the step 10. And if you really want to make it, even if you are not a developer, you can search for a Ethereum developer, hi hire someone that makes some bug fix on any of those repos pay for those services and using your wallet address and maybe you will be rewarded too. And the step 11 guys is follow them on Twitter or X. This is super important because over this month maybe appear more applications, more NFT collections or things to do. So everything is going to be on the Twitter. And now I will give you my strategy. What can you do to be ahead of many, many of the different users? And because this is on the testnet, one piece of advice that I can give you is that you can also buy Ethereum Sepolia to use more volume than normal people claiming free Sepolia Ethereum. When you claim those free applications, you get 0.1 Ethereum each time once per day. Usually normal airdrop hunters will use that. So each day they need to claim 0.1, meaning that to get one Ethereum, they need to claim at least 10 times. So in 10 days, they are going to have one Ethereum. So what you can do is acquire Sepolia Ethereum conveniently. And this is a great tool to swap in a small amount of real Ethereum for Sepolia tokens. So this is great from Testnet Bridge. So basically you will be paying for the Sepolia tokens that you get. You can see here, for example, if I want to buy 0.02 Ethereum, I will be receiving 152 Sepolia Ethereum. And after you buy here, and by the way, this is powered by layer zero. So you are applying transactions on layer zero doing this. If you use 152 Sepolia tokens and you bridge that on the official bridge from Unichain, you are already ahead of many other people and farmers in terms of volume. Then you can swap this on Uniswap. And again, you will be moving a lot of volume in the testnet using 152. And 0.02 Ethereum is not too much. It's a very small investment just to have more volume on this airdrop. So this is part of my strategies. When I use testnet with Ethereum Sepolia, I usually buy some amount of Sepolia tokens to be ahead. Imagine if you want and do this with 0.1. So this is around $250 but you are going to be transacting with 760 Ethereum Sepolia. Imagine if you could do that with Beta Chain, for example, just buying Beta tokens, then you will be ahead of many other airdrop hunters. So this is a strategy that if you want to put some money, remember that you will get your tokens back again, because after you know that the testnet ended, you will be able to switch or withdraw your Sepolia tokens again into Ethereum Sepolia so you can use it to any other airdrop. So this is an investment that maybe will help you with many testnet. Okay guys, that is all for the Unichain airdrop. This is the Uniswap Layer 2 solution. If you want more secrets, like I mentioned, to buy in Ethereum Sepolia, then you need to be in my Discord because that is something that we share there. I am just telling this on this video. I am not going to be telling that in all my videos that you can buy actually Ethereum Sepolia. So if you want more tricks, more ways to farm different airdrops, you need to be in my Discord. That is where the magic happens. And we also did a live stream to 
chat about the Discord community last week and it was amazing. So you can also participate in more stuff with me and Boris on my Discord. And of course, you have my airdrop application, which is essential if you really want to make money on airdrops. You need to start farming airdrops at some point. That will be all for this video. Last announcement. Remember our NFT collection that we did with Yelp Farming Coop. This has been killing it, guys. We sold many, many NFTs that were already paying. So the first payment of the 10% per month, it was in October 7. We are expecting our second payment after the first weekend of November. So everyone that bought this NFT from August 22 to October 7 is going to be paid in the November payment. So if you buy now, you will be getting your payment in December because you need to hold the NFT for 30 days to start entering into the payment system. But as soon as you buy the NFT on base at 0.1 Ethereum, you are already starting to generate yield farming income with yield farming coop. So this is an amazing strategy. They actually got like 15 to 70 percent on last month. So yeah, they are guaranteed to give us a 10 percent of all the rewards. So your NFT is going to give you indefinitely a 10 percent per month as a passive income strategy. I bought more than 20 NFTs. I already got my first payment and everything looks fantastic with the NFT collection. That will be all for this video. Before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. The information of this Excel is going to be on the first link of the description like always in my videos that will be all and if you want to check the video about the nfts how you can get this 10 percent per month check this video that is appearing right now it's a very important video for passive income that will be all and i will see you in the next video bye